So for the past year or so, I have been using and suggesting that if you want to get into animation and make it look great, that you should check out Epic's Unreal Engine. It's fast, it makes your animations look professional with a lot of the presets, and it's pretty easy to use once you get a hang of it. In this video, we're going to go over how to import a character with animation to Unreal Sequencer tool, coming up right after this. Welcome back Roundtable, this is Cliff from Roundtable Studios where we produce animation videos and show you how you can make yours too. So to start off things, um, I have the Black Panther here doing a quick animation from his intro in Captain America Civil War. I think it's a pretty cool one, he gets up and then goes into his fighting stance. I am using Autodesk Maya for animation but a lot of the information here can be transferred over to your 3D program. So one of the first things before we even get to exporting it is the rig setup. I often promote sites like Mixamo because their auto rigs are game ready. So if you're looking for auto rigs anywhere online, look for ones that say they're game ready or if you have a rigger by any chance, let them know that you want to make this game ready. And what makes a rig game ready really quick is one, making sure that all your joints and groups are named differently and making sure that you're not using any advanced rigging tools that are specifically built for your 3D program that a game engine would not be able to read. Now, once you have your game ready rig and your animation complete, one of the first things you want to do is bake your animation onto your joints. Game engines do not read controls, they read joints. So if you want your animation to cross over, you're going to have to bake your animation to your joints. And how we're going to do that is we're going to go over to our outliner, select our root joint, and hit select hierarchy and what that does um, in, order, in Maya at least is selects all the joints in the skeleton now next go to edit bake animation and go to the option box make sure that the hierarchy is set to selected the channels are selected to all keyable so that the translate rotate and scale are selected you can select to have the time range on a slider or to start to end I usually have it on time slider and we want to bake it to the base animation for the purposes of this tutorial, this is what we need. Maybe in a future tutorial, we can go over the, the different options and see what they do. Hit bake and Maya will bake your animation to the joints. Now with all your joints already selected, what we have to do next is go back to the outliner and select your mesh and mesh group. This will allow you to export both the animation and the mesh into one file. We're going to go over to file, export selection change the file type to FBX, leave everything as default, and export selection. You can export the animation by itself if you already have the mesh file in Unreal. And you can also go back uh, to reselecting all the joints by going to root joint and selecting hierarchy. Now moving into Unreal Engine, I'm using the Redwood Forest by Maui United Group. It's a great pack, looks amazing, exactly what we're gonna be using here. I picked this one up, I believe, during one of the months Unreal uh, releases certain assets for free. So even if you are intimidated to start to using Unreal, uh, make an account, uh, start adding free assets to your library. Um, when you start to get a lot of these packs, it can get pretty expensive. So take an advantage of the free packs uh, while they're around. So what I did um, is I just made a folder in Unreal called Characters and then another folder for Black Panther. Just to keep things organized, um, I'm going to hit Import and go to your file to bring it in. The menu should open up and you want to have both the Skeleton Mesh as well as the Import Mesh checkbox selected. Um, this is going to bring in the mesh as well as its own rig as a standalone rig instead of trying to um, combine it with a rig that's already in the system. Since we also have animations on that rig, select Import Animations. If you do not select this, your animation will not import, so it's very important that you select um, Import Animations. Everything else is pretty standard. You're going to hit Import. Once it is done, you will have your model. Um, as long as the alerts are in red, you're good to go. So I'm going to bring up my skeleton mesh and drag them to my scene. Now you may notice that he may be a little small or it is no biggie and his textures are imported way incorrectly. Um, but first we're going to make the file larger so you can see him by bringing his scale up to 10. Now fixing the texture is going to take a little bit more time um, and it may not 
be necessarily an issue that you may be having. So what I'm going to show you next is how to bring in the animation. You want to go to cinematics, add a level sequence to bring up the sequence tool. This is where you can construct your animation scene um, for cutscenes or video making. Select your character and track. Add actor to sequencer and select your character. Then from here on you'll see to on the animation, then select animation and your animation will be there. The animation should have put it in fine and this is also where you have multi animation you can just bring in the animation from your animation program and bring it into the model and still have to bring in the mesh file every single time. If you have any questions on the process, let me know in the comments below and in the next video I'm going to fix these textures and elaborate how my I do my animation process from start to finish so you can see how this turns out. Make sure you hit subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.